Mr. Guha joining us on this story. Uh, Mr. Guha, what do you have to say on this statement given by Congress President Kharge uh, attacking uh, Home Minister Amit Shah saying that he is a politician and not a pujari? Uh, see, every time there is an election that uh, Ram Mandir issue comes up, if at all they were serious, BJP in Karnataka should have established a Rama Rajya in terms of Dharma, Nyaya and Niti. None of that has happened. Corruption is at its best. There is unemployment. There is every possible uh, law and order situation. You know, we are not opposed to a Ram Mandir. Let us build a Ram Mandir in every place. But only by building a Ram Mandir, we are not satisfying anyone. If you have to do anything good to the people, you have to establish a Rama Rajya. These people are talking so much about it. Why is it Karnataka going down so badly? There is PSI scam. There is an egg scam. You name it and there is a scam. Nothing is happening. Every time there is an election, you rake up the Ram Mandir issue. You rake up some other communal issue. And you know, with January 20, in 2024 being an election year, Obviously, you know, you want to wake up because there is nothing else. Where are the two crore jobs, annual two crore jobs? Where is the 15 lakh rupees in everybody's account? What is happening to these, these things? Where is that black money stashed up somewhere in the offshore accounts that are being brought back to India? Let's talk about these things also. You know, just by uh, raking up communal issues when they cannot win election, people are watching. They will also question you. All right, Shazad, how would what you like to uh, respond to Mr. Guha's claims? I'm glad that Mr. Goa has shown us two colors. He says that raking up Ram Mandir is a communal issue. Is Ram Mandir a communal issue or is it an issue that will lead to communal peace? And secondly, Mr. Siddharamaya just recently has said that Gauri Lankesh was killed by Sanatan Dharma. Now, Mr. Goa just said, I am not opposed to Ram Mandir. I hope he first takes a stand on the statement of Siddharamaya when he says that Sanatan Dharma has killed Gauri Lankesh. Does he agree with that statement? See, Congress has an uh, issue of always abusing and insulting Hindus because it wants vote bank. And you know the Congress leader from Karnataka said Hindu is a dirty word. We know what the statement came about, uh, suffering quotes from Hussein Dalai. As far as uh, development, employment, unemployment is concerned, I asked Mr. Goa, Gujarat and Rajasthan both are close by. Gujarat has 1.5% unemployment rate. Rajasthan has over 20% unemployment rate for the last one year. Is this the model of development? Ten papers have been leaked in Rajasthan and when the youngsters go to demand justice, they are beaten up. Is this the model of Congress's development? In Bihar, students are beaten up. Is this the model of development? So I can imagine that they perhaps want the kind of government they have in Rajasthan to be put all over the country and therefore, for the sake of vote bank consolidation, they are not talking about unemployment, employment in Rajasthan, they are only talking about insulting Hindu Asta and this is yet another instance. So Mr. Guha, uh, Shahzad has said that... Just, just before, you know, before I conclude or you conclude this, since we are talking so much about Sanatana Dharma and Hinduism, I have only one question to Shahzad. Please name the person who relayed the foundation of Sanatana Dharma. Well, I'll do that at the moment. Rahul Gandhi stopped saying that Shankar Ji ne Sansar ko nigal liya tha. First to teach Rahul Gandhi. Your true colors are exposed today. Your true colors are exposed. Your son has another position. Why don't you do one thing? Uh, Mr. Guha, why don't you do one thing? Organize a competition between me and Rahul Gandhi on Sanatan Dharma. I will definitely no, be no, happy Rahul to do that. Rahul Gandhi is not required. I am more than the mission for you. I will organize a competition with you. Come down. You, you organize it. You tell me where to come. I will come. Please have the competition. I am happy. Sanatan Dharma. Dharma, you, Rahul you organize, you tell, you tell me the date, time and place, I will be there. I will I be there. All right, all right, Shazad. I don't want, Rahul Gandhi is not required for you. I am more than enough. Why Rahul? We are embarrassed of Rahul Gandhi? No, no, no. Rahul Gandhi is too big for you. He's not required. I am enough. You, we, will, we, we will discuss Sanatana Dharma. I will discuss Sanatana Dharma with you. You don't know the person who relayed the foundation of Sanatana Dharma. Your Sanatana Dharma is only politics and superstition. Do not say that Sanatana Dharma is the reason. This is the problem with, this, with BJP. When you ask them something, so, you know, their true colors are exposed today. They don't know what is Sanatana Dharma. They don't know what is Hinduism. It is not even Sanatana Dharma. For your knowledge, it is Vaidika Dharma that we practice. So your knowledge is superficial and your Sanatana Dharma is only politics, beyond politics. And I did not use the word communalism and Ram. Ram is a different thing. Communal issues is a different thing. 
Who Sir, slapped so many? Who slapped a woman in Karnataka? Your minister slapped a woman in Karnataka. She went me. to ask about her land. D.K. Shiv Kumar says. D.K. Shiv Kumar says the cooker glass is not a table. So now Rahul Gandhi will come. Just like the five five trillion dollar economy. D.K. Shiv Kumar, Sidramaya. Let us discuss everything. But before that, you tell me the date, time, and place. I will come. We will discuss about some other matter. Please discuss the statement of D.K. Shiv Kumar, the statement of Sridhar Ramaya, and please tell us why Reshan Shiv Kumar. Please answer who relayed the foundation of Sanatana Dharma first. You don't have an answer to that. I will definitely answer your quiz contest the moment you have Rahul Gandhi. You don't have an answer to that now. Rahul Gandhi is not required, sir. You tell me which day, date, time, and place. I will come. We'll let us discuss in a very, in a very, in a very proper way. We will discuss Sanatana Dharma. I will come. You tell me the date, time, and place. I am ready. All right, Shahzad and uh, Sankara Guha. Uh, now, Shahzad has al also made one claim that, so in Khadge's statement, Khadge had attacked BJP and accused BJP of not fulfilling the employment promises which they had made. Now, Shahzad has uh, uh, made this point where he has claimed that there's 20 percent unemployment rate in Rajasthan. Uh, Mr. Guha, how would you like to respond to that? Where is the two crore jobs annually? Let, let him answer this first. Then we will discuss that. Where are the two crore jobs? Did anyone go and ask them that we want two crore jobs? They were the ones who claimed annually two crore jobs, 15 lakh rupees in everybody's account. They have to answer this. First, this is their first claim. Let them, discuss, them answer this. Then we will discuss about those things. So many BJP rules, rules say the unemployment is so high. See, Mr. Paul, Ram, Ram, Mandir, Ram Mandir is different. Mm -hmm. Communal issues are different. That does not mix it. Now, what I said was every time there is an election, Ram Mandir comes up. Along with that, there are communal issues. Shahzadji, there are about 45 communal, alleged communal murders in Karnataka. Okay, alleged. Allow me to complete. Allow me to complete. Allow me to complete. Allow me to complete. You ask me a question. 45 murder cases. No, no, now you take me. 45 murder cases. You must take me. Allegedly right-wing. No, see, there's no point in interfering like this. I kept quiet when you were talking. You can always do this running away. Alleged murders of right-wing and BJP activists. Not a single case of, not a single case of yeah, can be not a single case has reached its logical end. So what, has, what is actually happening here? Why are you, what happened to Harsha's murder case? What happened to Praveen Nettura's case? Uh, uh, Mr. Guha, we'll, we'll, we'll take a response from Shahzad on the un unemployment issue. Shahzad. First of all, you know, Mr. Guha and his ilk are extremely un, uh, unable to understand what is employment for job creation and what is job. So job creation has been done and you can go and see the data, whether it's the PLFS data or whether it is the data of the new registrations in EPFO, year after year, the jobs have been created and employment opportunities have been created in this country. And therefore the people of this country are today asking that when you turn back and ask questions about unemployment, please tell us that what have you done in your state governed by you in Rajasthan, why there is unemployment of over 20-25% for over the one last year, which Shankar Gua has not been able to answer. Secondly, right. now that we see the new topic, please tell Mr. Siddharamaya that Sanatan Dharma is not responsible for the murder of Gauri Lankesh and he should take back the statement and then you can go and play a little quiz contest with Rahul Gandhi and with Siddharamaya ji.